Hi folks and welcome to this video where I'm going to share with you some interesting robots that have been at CES this year that I am thinking I will probably purchase and share unboxings with you in the near future. Apologies once again for the croaky voice. I'm doing my best folks but still recovering from the bug from hell which has gone on for weeks so this is the first one it's been it's by one of my favorite companies UK engineering if any of you watch the channel you'll know that I've already purchased what UK engineering brought out last year which was a finger nibbling robot in fact I loved it so much I had to go for the whole package, including the pacifier, as well as both versions of the finger nibbling robot, because it came as this cat version and also the dog version. So I had to have the two, of course. And um, before that, I bought both versions of Yukai's Kubo. So the full-sized Kubo, I've got this Disney version with a nice bow and the Petit Kubo, which was a smaller version. They are, of course, a tail wagging cushion and I made a custom cover for the Petit Kubo, sort of Yorkshire Terrier look. And currently I'm working on another cover from a petted Kubo, combining the Kubo with a Pomsey. So that's turning out to be quite interesting. That will be coming soon when I finish it. And now back to what UK Engineering has unveiled at CES this year. It's a breathing pillow. And... It's quite big, as you can see from this picture. It's looking like it's the biggest thing that UK Engineering has ever produced. And it kind of looks like a cloud. And the way they've shaped it is obviously to make it more comfortable to cuddle. So UK have said it's to rest it's for work and it's to sleep with. So I suppose the for work one is the oddest, but they've got a figure sitting next to a computer. So I suppose the idea is you keep having a little break from your work to relax with your breathing pillow. And the whole point of the breathing pillow is that it helps you relax, that it's sort of therapeutic in and, and sort of stress relieving. So I'd say I'm most interested in this in that I'm hoping it'll help me sleep. Obviously, myself and many other middle-aged people have trouble sleeping I think Paul will be interested in trying this to help him sleep as well. So it's a breathing cushion. The whole thing seems to breathe. It doesn't just got like a little breathing mechanism in. And as with other UK engineering products, the movement of the breathing mechanism is quite realistic and quite sophisticated. So you can have different breathing patterns. I don't know how much this is going to cost, but it's going to be released in Japan under a crowdfunding sort of platform like the Amagami Ham Ham was last year. So I got the Amagami Ham Ham by using Zen Market. So I'll be doing the same with this breathing cushion this year. I should think it's going to cost quite a bit 
because it is quite a big model so I can't think it's going to be that cheap to start off with and also because it's large I would think the postage from Japan is going to be quite a bit but whatever it is I'm sure it's going to be worth it and this is the name of this new product I'm not quite sure how you pronounce it Foofully 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 that's what that's the name of it anyway. Yukai unveiled not one but two new items at CES this year. They also unveiled this that is just a prototype at the moment. They called it Lightony and it's like Light and Tony put together for its name. And uh, this thing is absolutely adorable. I think this is a stroke of genius. It's like this little sort of plywood looking robot figure with um moving eyes and head and it's got a like a bulb, a light bulb on the top of its head and it nods off to sleep and then the light goes out and it's got um a microphone so there's a few words you can say to it. Um, one being something like good morning and it'll wake up and the light turns on. I think this is absolutely adorable. But this is in the very early stages. So I don't know when we're going to be able to purchase this. But I'll certainly be keeping an eye out to see the development of this little guy because that is definitely on my wish, wish list. And the other thing I've seen so far at CES that I plan on purchasing is this little fella, this little robot dog. It's by Wowie and it's called Dog E, which I think is a brilliant name. So Dog E is going to come with an app. It's going to be able to learn your name going to be able to teach it tricks uh, it responds to claps it's got a microphone so it can respond to sound and it has touch sensors on its head nose and sides so what Wowie has said about this that's special is that each is going to be unique because depending on how you interact with it it will have different colors and its ears might both be up or one might be down and it'll have different sounds and it'll act differently depending on how each person interacts with it. But the thing that I find really interesting about it, the most interesting about it, is it's got a persistence of vision tail that can display words as a way to communicate. And I've never seen this in the toy before. So Paul, how does this work? You can see in the picture here, it mm. says hello. Right, okay. Uh, yeah, I mean, if you wanted to normally display a word or something like that, you'd have to have a display there, wouldn't you? Yeah. Uh, which would look pretty odd on, 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 on a dog's tail. But uh, yeah, persistence of vision is, um, it's like a limit of the eye or the eye, the body's nervous system. If something flashes more than something like, 25 times a second we can't tell it's flashing anymore mm -hmm. it just looks like it's solid light right so what they do there's it looks like there's a few uh a few lights leds in, in a vertical line in up the, the tail ta up the tail yeah so <clears throat> if they make the tail vibrate from side to side very fast mm -hmm. uh, and there's a micro uh, controller vibrating it so it know knows how fast the tail's vibrating and it turns on the little leds and the right at the right time, it'll leave a dot. It'll look like a dot that hangs in the air to our eye. And because it's vibrating from side to side, uh, they sort of join up into a word. Mm. I've never seen that before. Yeah, well, as I say, if you wanted to display something, you normally use like an, an LED or a liquid crystal display, but you couldn't have that on a dog's tail. It's a very clever idea to have a it's dog's genius. tail spell something out in the yeah. air. It, 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 it's a way of like 
conveying an emotion, isn't it? And yes. a dog's tail. And it's yeah. conveying an emotion by telling you a word. Yeah, it's so clever. Very, very clever idea. So yeah. clever. Yeah. So, I mean, apart from that, I didn't find this that interesting. It's, it's that thing that, mm. with the tail that's mm. really caught my uh, attention. Um, the dog's got lots of moving parts on it. It can move its head. Uh, it's got like quite a, quite a wobbly head. And it can move its tail, obviously. And it can move its legs and it's able to walk. And it's going to be priced at $80, which seems very reasonable. And it's going to be available in the fall this year. So, Paul, what do you think of these three items that have appeared at CES? Uh, the UK engineering things, uh, the cushion and the, the lamp, I think, are great. But those are aimed at adults, really, aren't they? Yes. Doggy uh, by Wowie. Uh, it's not bad. Not bad for a toy. That doesn't really appeal to me, being an adult, but um, well, it's got some interesting bits and pieces you, on it. Are you not... Do you not think it's fascinating that the, the tail? tail? Yeah, the tail's yeah. terrific. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not quite. I'm not really keen on all the lights and and that on it. Apart from the tail. No, they didn't do anything for me. But that 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 tail displaying mm. words, mm, mm. I, I'm fascinated by it. Mm. I suppose it appeals to kids to have something that's uh, you know they get it out of the box and they will say, well, mine's different than yours because. Oh yeah, I mean that's why they're selling it of, on this yeah. unique. Yeah, that, that, that's interesting. Mm, interesting aspect. idea. So, folks, that about wraps it up for this video. I'll keep my eyes open and see if anything else crops up at CES. Don't really expect it to, though, because last year, the only thing I was interested in mm -hmm. was Amagami Ham Ham oh, yeah. by Yukai, which, of course, I got. I didn't see anything else I was interested in. So I don't really expect that there's going to be anything else. But you never know, mm. so I'll keep mm. looking. But that's it for this video. Thanks for watching as always and see you next time.